right, to get started, we're going to need to go to mycisb.cisb.org. If you haven't already registered for MyCISB, you need to do that now. Um, register as a parent. Use your own email address, not your child's email address. Um, and then if your child is under 16, if your child is 15 or under, you need to add your child to your own parental account. So we'll go over that. If your child is 16 or over, they will register as themselves with their own email address, not your email address. But we will go over that later. So we're going to log in or create an account if you don't have one already. Make sure that you log in using your us.cisb.org username not the email address that you signed up with. That's where your communications will go, but in order to log in, you need to use this us.cisb.org account. Go ahead and log in. Okay. If you're adding a new child, this is for people who are under 16, 15 years old or under. You're going to add a new child like that. Just put in all their information. Make sure you select the Jacksonville chapter like so. I'm not going to actually create a new account though right now. Um, if you have a child who was registered previously who has since turned 16 and needs to be unlinked from you so they can add their own, they can work in their own MyCISB account. You do that by going to edit the child, and then you go to this button here, self responsibility, and you just add an email address for the child. So you add your child's email address and click on link. It will basically emancipate the child from your uh, responsibility um, from the parent account. All right, so let's go back. We're going to work on some forms here. We've gone to the child under children over here. Go to the child. We find they should see the um, program that they're registered for for this summer under their participation history. If it's not there, let me know and I'll make sure we get the um, get your child registered correctly in my CISB. So we're going to go to their program for this year. And then you'll see there's, you know, some various information here. Some of that you won't see because I've got some extra um, permissions as the risk manager, but you will see this section right here, the forms. This is where you're going to fill out all of your forms. The child code of behavior, I'll go over that one so you can see how to download it, sign it, and put it back in. So this is the behavior agreement that the children sign. So you're going to follow these instructions right here. Um, you can do either one. Um, I, I personally prefer um, signing them electronically because then you don't have to use paper and scan it. So we're going to go over that one. So we're going to save the, we're going to print the form by hitting control P. Now this is on my Chromebook. It'll be a little bit different on your computer. If you have a PC or a Mac, this is basically what you're going to be doing. You're going to want to save as a PDF hit save. I'm going to put it all in here right now. It's going to save it as that eForms. Alright, now we can go and open that PDF that we just saved. And we can sign it however you want to.
do whatever you need to do there. Put the date in. Like so. And save it. Can get out of there. Now that we have that saved, with it signed, you're going to hit Save Form at the bottom of the form where, where we had printed it from. So Save Form. It's going to pop up this little signature page box here. Choose File. Go to where you have the signed form saved and do that. Now that this green check mark has appeared, we've uploaded the signature form. That form is done. We can close out. And when we refresh, you're going to find a check box, a check mark next to that form. You see here that's changed to a check mark. That means that one's done. But these all need to be done still. Now, when you do the health form, unless your child has some sort of condition that is serious or you know could could potentially become life-threatening um, you're not going to need a doctor's signature on the health form when you do fill it out if your child does have something that needs that kind of uh, attention then you're going to have a an appendix here a doctor's note um, and you'll need to have the doctor sign off on that so you'll print this out, bring it to the doctor, scan it, and sign it. But most people will not need to do that. And <clears throat> this basically just gives you, you know, you put in all their information about their, um, their health, their uh, allergies, their vaccination records, etc. I'm not going to get into my child's. But here you go. That's how you fill out your forms on my CISB. Um, you'll need to fill out the child traveling with leader legal form if your child is part of a delegation that is traveling with a leader. If you have a child who is going to seminar um, as an individual participant or who is like a junior counselor or something like that, it will be a different form. It'll be a child traveling independently or not sure exactly what the form is called, but it's it, just fill out the forms that are under this uh, box right here.